Happy Easter to each one of you. Thank you for joining me and being a part of my Bending Angel ministry. My prayer is that life begins with death. God, I love Easter like millions of your children around the world. It rekindles in me so many warm and wonderful memories of my childhood. On Easter mornings, getting up early with my sister and brothers and rummaging all around our home to find the eggs that the Easter Bunny had left for us. Eating far too many jelly beans, holding the little chicks and the cuddly rabbits that our parents gave us. Going to church to worship with my family. I and my siblings wearing the Easter white clothes our mother had made for us with her Singer sewing machine. After church, posing for family pictures. The tradition of sitting around the table, holding hands, saying grace, and eating mom's tasty meals. The beautiful cloth table adorned with napkins, china, crystal, and silver. Attending the Emmettville annual family Easter egg hunts with my grandparents, 18 aunts and uncles, and unbelievably, 45 first cousins. God, however, all this joy that I have is set against what is most important for me and all Christians around the globe. And that is the death and resurrection of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. How inconceivable it must have been on that dark day in Calvary for Jesus' mother and all who witnessed his crucifixion to foresee that your son's death was truly the beginning of his eternal life with you. As human beings, don't we think that life is linear? We are born, we suffer, we get old and we die. But in you, I have learned that my spiritual life began in a death of sorts. That I, as all your children, have crosses in life and in love to bear. Just as I have borne the heavy cross of polio and paralysis. Because of this blessed Easter day and the sacrifice of your precious son, Jesus Christ, the end of our earthly lives is just the beginning of our eternal life with you. Likewise, we experience a kind of death in bearing our own crosses, as with the coronavirus pandemic at this time. The end of normalcy, the relationships and personal health that we take for granted, the ability to be with and care for those who need us, the end of a good night's sleep, being at peace and feeling secure. But as a sort of holy miracle aligned with your Easter message to your children, such trials and endings are all transformed into new beginnings to be closer to you. God, on this Easter day, I thank you for your grace and for your sacrifice. When I suffered polio and was paralyzed at age six, I am certain my parents, just as Mary at the foot of her son's cross, felt that all their previous plans for my life had ended, had died. But in the light and love of Easter and in the glorious sunrise of hope that you represent to the world, I have learned that my life and the living of it with you and in you did not end. Rather, it is when my life truly began. Amen. Thanks for joining me today. And until we meet again, please remember that God and all of his angels 
or just a prayer away.